Temperatures inched up a little further today into the middle to upper 80s rather than just getting to the middle 80s or about a degree or two warmer. And that was really the only change that we saw between yesterday and today. So we're holding on to that uh, sunny, quiet and dry weather for another day in a row. You can see current temperatures in the mid to low 80s, just a little above average for this time of year. Wind is gone calm, still looking at plenty of dry air, so no worries about the heat index influencing things. Those feels like conditions, in fact, a little cooler than the actual air temperature considering just how dry the air is. We have a few passing clouds as of right now, and just like we've seen the past couple nights, the weather does stay clear and dry throughout the overnight hours. But like last night, we had one of our first warm nights of the week. We get that again tonight, mid to low 60s expected later on tonight. After a warm evening, we'll stay in the 80s to 70s under that clear sky throughout the rest of the evening. So for tonight, 62 degrees, just like last night, mainly clear. Winds go calm throughout the overnight hours. We'll have a passing cloud or two, and that is about it. And not really seeing much changing for tomorrow as well. So this really quiet weather pattern is holding on strong. As you look at temperatures across the nation, we are definitely Definitely warm and a little above average, but we're not uh, feeling that heat that we see across the Great Plains quite yet. This does move in by tomorrow, so we could be a lot closer to 90 degrees, if not into the 90s by then. Uh, high pressure is still influencing us, though. That's what's been keeping the weather dry and sunny. That stays locked into place for tomorrow. That's why we're not seeing much changing for tomorrow outside of that temperature inching up another degree or two. Eventually, this cold front enters the picture, and that could lead to some changes as we head into the weekend. You can see that uh, with the temperature forecast, though, it's going to hold off for another day. So we get another surge of heat that should result in temperature right near 90 by tomorrow afternoon, all thanks to the jet stream winds blowing in additional slightly warmer air. Uh, now this change in the, both the jet stream and the cold front at the surface arrive by Friday, so that sets us up for potentially cooler air as well as some rain showers heading into Friday. So you can see on future track, morning looks dry for right now. That front still holding off to our west. That does work in by the evening, so you can see sh uh, scattered showers and storms advancing closer to us throughout the course of the evening may not be through until late. So here we are around sunset and still looking at fairly dry conditions after sunset. Some scattered showers and storms. That front doesn't really move through the state line yet, so that does set us up for more on and off rainfall throughout Saturday as that front very slowly makes its way on through. So for tomorrow, right below 90 under a sunny sky, humidity slightly higher. Same with the temperature. Then we get into the weekend. We can see slightly cooler conditions on Friday with a chance for scattered showers and storms in the evening. Then on and off rainfall for Saturday as temperatures continue to cool. By Sunday, may see a storm or two early, and then things turn a little sunnier going into the afternoon. And we'll continue on this trend into next week. Low 80s on and off chances for showers and storms going into the middle of next week. James and Kristen. All right, Alex, thanks. The IHSA.